Hi guys, Ron here and today I've got some indoor training news for you because thanks to one of my friends I now have the opportunity to test and review uh, the brand new Wahoo Kicker 17 Premium uh, Direct Drive Indoor Smart Trainer. So let's just uh, go straight into the overview and what do you get with the unit. So of course you do, do get your power adapter, actually you get both uh, the UK and the Euro version, so that's kind of nice. Then you get adapters for uh, 142 by 12 two axles. You get a pad spacer for your disc brakes, uh, if in case you accidentally squeeze them. And you also get a cassette spacer in case you want to fit uh, an older type of cassette. 10 speed, 9 speed, and so on. So what is the unit actually like? Well, the first thing that surprised me the most is the size of the thing. Compared to the uh, units I have owned and I, I currently own, this is a tiny, tiny unit and it's even smaller when uh, you fold the legs, which is very neat, by the way, and has these nice machine aluminum quick releases in there. And the whole body or the chassis is made of steel tubing, so it's very sturdy quite uh, light as well, not super heavy, but despite this uh, after a short ride I can state that it's super stable, so definitely an excellent design there. Uh, for the construction of the unit another interesting feature is that you can actually adjust it uh, to different wheel sizes. Uh, so with this slider basically if you undo it you can adjust it to a smaller wheel size if you want. So I think that's an excellent feature and actually I don't think that any other uh, indoor trainer has it. So that's definitely a good thing. Uh, one thing I have noticed is that unlike with my other units or my uh, the ones that I have previously tried, sorry, uh, if I put my bike on the Wahoo the gears uh, skip a bit, so the shifting is not exactly as you want it. But I, since this is a mechanical setup, I don't really want to mess around with it because it's set up perfectly for my wheels. So that might be a tiny tolerance issue, but uh, no big deal at all. Uh, then if you go to the other side, you can see this is the EU power cord and the good thing about it, it is that it's really really long so in case uh, your power strip is far away from your bike then it's not uh, too much of a worry and uh, the place where it connects is also neatly uh, taken outside uh, the unit itself so you don't need to mess around with it uh, like on the Diretto for example which I currently run as my own. So yeah, another look of the sturdy steel base, very very stable and stiff. I have noticed with my previous units that if you put a lot of power down, uh, you kind of feel the whole bike and trainer assembly flexing underneath you. And the fir at first I thought that it's the bike, because time trial bikes really aren't that stiff. Uh, usually, but when putting my bike on this unit, I realized that actually they were the units themselves flexing on the load side to side, and this one doesn't. Again, thanks to the very sturdy steel base. Uh, the flywheel is quite heavy, so I think the well, some people really like to talk about road feel, but I don't know. Uh, no matter what I do, I just kind of feel like I'm on a road uh, if I'm on a trainer, but uh, the nature of the resistance is very, very natural indeed, uh, more natural than units I have tried before. Then another neat feature, very sturdy grab handle, so if the, if the legs are folded, you can just grab the unit easily, carry, carry it around, it's not too heavy either, so excellent for uh, taking with you on some races to warm up and 
uh, one tiny bit of problem with that maybe that the resistance is very very low if it's not connected to a power supply so well for warming up it might just well be enough but it's not really any good for uh, workouts if you are if you're reasonably fit so the resistance is quite low as you can see I'm just spinning the fly with my hand and another thing that if it's not connected you can spin the flywheel up to ridiculous speeds and then it's quite noisy and you can feel a quite a lot of vibration going through the bike from that but if it's operating normally everything is uh, of course uh, being braked by the resistance of the electrical unit the magnet so then this doesn't happen so it's very good another neat feature uh, about the smart train is and uh, that's particularly useful for training indoors and doing structure training and workouts is erg mode now me personally I don't really like using erg mode and part of that is because of the lag because you're doing some shorter uh, let's say sub one minute intervals then by the time your resistance your desired resistance arrives your interval is almost over and as if work workouts that means uh, usually a failure well the VAH unit is actually quite quick in delivering this resistance and the same goes on for for just riding around in Zwift so that's definitely definitely a good uh, feature uh, yes so Overall, I think it's a very nicely made unit. It definitely has a premium look and feel to it, which it should for the price. But I'm really just looking forward to do uh, some more, uh, more miles on it or kilometers in Zwift. Uh, and then I'll be ready to compare it to, let's say, a uh, mid-range option like the Diretto, because that's really a rather good unit, but costs... Uh, not much more than half of what the Wahoo costs. And if you like to see that, then don't forget to tune into the channel later on. Uh, it's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.